Hey everybody, knock knock. Who's there? Interrupting intro. Interrupting. Something she left a new man's imperfect. My heart. What's up, you guys? Chris is so pro here, coming at you with an update, kind of um, summary of the regional I went to in Fort Worth yesterday on October the twentieth. Um, this regional really sucked. I mean, I hated it. I was doing great. I was doing decent, and then you know, shit just got crazy. So basically, I'll go. I'll summarize it. Pros, cons, and then I'll show you the deck list I ended up running. Um, I ended up playing Evils. Me, Joe, Raul, and Dominique got there at like maybe 9.30-ish. It was supposed to be like 10.30 when we got there, but I like to speed on the highway. So we got there a lot earlier than we were supposed to. Um, so I get signed up. D... I'm sorry, not D. There's a D and there's a Dominique, but Dominique convinced me to run a card that ended up not helping me at all in the Evo deck, which was El Gennaro. I really don't like the card, but he convinced me to run it, so I looked around and picked it up. Um, I ended up picking up for a dollar, and the guy gave me change in two dollar bills, which was mm, kind of annoying, but whatever. What you gonna do? So we go to round one, and my round one matchup was against the Light Sworn. Game one, I just opened up, I just decided to open up Broke, I went, um, actually I don't remember exactly what I did, but I beat him game one, game two he early judgment dragoned me, I didn't have any traps to stop it, and I didn't have any answers to it, so, and then game three I just railed him into the ground with the deck, I just, <laughs> round two, I actually played a guy who ended up topping at the end of the tournament, um, his name is Adrian, he's from Dallas area. He was playing Six Samurai, and it's probably the only Six Samurai player I've ever played that didn't just straight up sack me. I mean, he had a bunch of traps for everything, but, you know, no crazy gateway shenanigans. He actually had a special, uh, when I goes and matched him, he actually had to special an Elder and compulse it to special it again so he can draw two off of his United. So that was pretty funny. Um, round three. What did I play round three? Uh, I ended up winning round three. I forgot what I played against, but this is really going to bug me. What did I play against? So I can't remember what I played against round three. If anybody knows for some reason, just let me know, but um, I ended up winning. Then round four. Round four was the round where this perfect looking regional just went to complete and utter shit. So, I've ended up playing as Dino Rabbit, and I won my game one. I just, you know, I, I made him eat shit pretty much. It was just like, smash your fucking face into the ground. And then, <laughs> that is when we went to game two. And he opens with Tour Guide, Sangan, into Zen Main's Pass. I look at my hand, and it's Westlow. Evo Force, goes in match, enemy controller, and dimensional prison. And I top into Solemn Judgment. So I'm like, set, set, three, pass. And the fucking fire alarm goes off. Kid you not, fire alarm went off. There's a rumor that it was a drill. There was a rumor that somebody pulled it. Either way, bullshit. So what ended up happening was the head judge, who was some Asian dude who I could barely understand when he talked, oh, I got the thing! Sorry, I'm not racist, but it was really annoying because after the fire drill, after we all got back, he wouldn't quit talking and I couldn't concentrate on my game. But, you know, he, we, he told us to evacuate, told us the match was canceled. So we all get back in and he's in, like, we, we all have to go out for the fire thing. I don't know what happened, but we ended up going back in less than five minutes after we got out. And it's in a giant ass convention center, so that was, that was really dumb. And as we're getting up, my opponent's like, dude, thank God they canceled the match. I opened up terrible. He opened up double Sabersaurus, triple Cabazals, or double Sabersaurus, triple Guaiba tour guide. I was just like, oh my God, I was going to win that. 
And that just... I was like, whatever, okay, I get a completely new match to redeem myself. I might not have to play Dino Rabbit, I might have to play something stupid, but... Whatever. So we get back inside, and Head Judge is instructing all of us to go back to where we were and restart the game that we were in. Not the entire match, like, you had to play the same person... But say you were in game two like me, you had to start from game two again, you know, reside against what you were playing against. <sighs> my opponent's like, oh, I'm going to go first. Summon Thunder King, set three, go. And my hand was completely useless. Double Evo Diversity, which is a search card, can't use it against Thunder King. Um, Pot of Avarice, Dark Hole, and Enemy Controller. And I forgot what I drew into. All I know is that he destroyed me that game because his sets were bottomless warning judgment. Game three, I set a Westlow set two and pass. He noblemans my Westlow and just... I've, I managed to come back, but then he top decks Reborn and just... Wins. So, X2 really pissed me off. I was really mad. I was going around telling him, like, fuck this game. This is bullshit. Fuck the fire alarm. Fuck the head judge. The head judge at this tournament was actually the one who had to clarify the original Xyz ruling. Because he's like an OCG judge too. He would judge in Thailand a lot. And he's the one that went to Julia and um, confirmed to her how Xyz summoning works. And that, you know, you don't get Sangin or Tangu when you detach it from an Xyz monster. So, round five, I ended up playing an Evo Mirror match and I ended up just shitting on it. Round six, I ended up playing um, Light Ray Sworn, which I thought was really funny. And, you know, it, it's not a hard matchup, but it's scary. Because once they get the, the right number of uh, Light Rays in the grave, then... Or, light uh, once they get enough not, lights in the grave, it's just like every single top deck works. You know, Gear Freed, Daedalus, um, Diabolos, Judgment Dragon, they're all, they're all really live, and it's scary as crap to play against. So then, I end up winning that. He, he got me game two because he Judgment Dragoned. It's a good card. Then game three, I'm pretty sure I got it just because he didn't open first turn with a charge or a solar recharge. So round seven, I lose again because fuck six samurai. I, I looked at my opponent. I end up winning the die roll, and I looked at my opponent, and I'm like, this guy... And the guy's like, I don't run my deck like anybody else. I've been playing this deck since Strike of Neos when it came out. I'm like, sick samurai. Fuck. And I was hoping that he would turn out to be a bad player. Like, just completely bad. He's like, I don't run it like anybody else. So, I guess samurai. And I ended up setting in Josho. Evo forcing it into the Lagia. Set three pass. And he ends up going um, Kizan Grandmaster set two. And I just proceeded to shit on him game one from there. Game two, he opens up Gateway Dojo, goes crazy, and I still almost win. I had the perfect, it was just like, set West Low, set three, go. He summons hand, gets two more counters on Gateway to bring it to four. I bottomless the hand, he lets it go, he's got a Sheehan on the board. He attacks into the West Low with Grandmaster, I used to bring out a Diplo in defense, pop the Gateway, so, I mean, his monster lineup now is Kizan, Grandmaster Xi'an equipped with Spirit and Shadow. And um, he's like, okay, attacking the Diplo with Xi'an, and I go Compulse. Uh, target Xi'an. He goes Negate, and I go Chain D Prison. So that takes care of the Xi'an. And at this point, I'm down to like little to no resources in my hand. I'm just like, well, I'm probably, I, I'm coming back from this. I'm probably going to lose. I had a Dark Hole. But he would definitely use the Grandmaster if I did that to get back the keys on, and I had to worry about stuff. And then in his main phase two, he rode it into an Ishii. So I was just like, there was just no way I was winning that game. I was coming back, I came back from the gateway combo, but he just put up too much momentum, and I had to waste too many resources to get over it. Game three, he's just Shein back rows, and I couldn't do anything to get over it from there. Round 8, I played against Heroes, and I was just like, I'm tired of getting sacked, fuck this. I am not gonna lose this. So I ended up wreck like busting his shit in game 1. Game 2, I goes and match him after he sets for summons Alias and specials Bubble Man. I'm just like, goes and match, get the fuck out. 
and he miracles into shining. I have the answers to shining. Like I, I popped his one live back row with a dip low when he attacked into my west low, and then I evo forced into Dolka, attacked into it, flipped the book of moon, and from there he was just setting stuff and trying to win, but he and trying to get another miracle fusion or something, but he couldn't get to it. And then round nine, I ended up playing against Chaos Dragons, and I ended up losing to that because. Game one, top decks into Monster Reborn when he needs it. Game two, top decks into Monster Reborn when he needs it. So I ended up going X4 in a nine round regional. Um, which is really disappointing considering I never do that bad. I mean, I know I was playing Evos, but, you know, whatever, shit happens. So, you know, pros of the tournament, I got to see a lot of people. I got to see Holy Cheetos, you know, Philip Campa. Um, we played seven and ele sevens and elevens for single dollar bills, and I ended up taking all his money. So that was, <laughs> it wasn't much, but it was still really fun. We had a fun time with that. Um, I got a lot of trades. I actually finished another play set of Dark Paladins for my collection. I got a play set of Legendary Collection Dark Paladins from John Moore. So those are pretty cool. He says he's got a Duelist Pack Yugi one for me that he'll probably give me next time I see him. Um... I found out that I'm going to hang out with Russell Justin a few times in the coming weeks, which will be pretty cool because Russell's freaking awesome. And there's the play set of Paladins, the Legendary Collection ones. Um, you know, just one of the main pros is that I got to see a lot of people and I got to have a lot of competitive tournament testing for the uh, Evo deck. When I actually do the deck profile on the Evo deck in this video for what I ran, I'm not going to go into extreme detail. Um, but yeah. Cons, Fire Alarm. Fuck Fire Alarm. Cons, Samurai. Fuck Samurai. Um, fuck Monster Reborn. I'm gonna go over that in another video of why they should ban all the power cards. I've actually got two videos planned, which is gonna be pretty cool. One of them is actually gonna be really interesting. Not the power card one, but the other one, so keep an eye out for that. And, um, now on to the deck profile. So like I said, I'm going to try to go over this really fast with as little explanation as possible. Um, three Serato, two Diplo, two Volcano, three Najasho, three Westlow, one El Gennaro. Do not run this card. It's really bad. I thought it would be cool so I could put my dinosaurs back in to the deck, but it just didn't work out that great. Uh, triple Evo Force. Triple Evo Diversity. Triple Enemy Controller. Gotta run Triple Enemy Controller. Double Pot of Duality. Double MST. Might want to go to Triple. That's probably what I'll take the El Gennaro out for, or for more tech cards. Then Storm, Dark Hole Reborn, Book, and Avarice. Traps. Triple Dimensional Prison. Double Bottomless. Double Compulse. Double Warning. Judgment. Extra, Zen Mains, Levier, because there's a lot of bottomlesses floating around, I wanted to use Levier. Leviathan, Maestroke, Zen Meister, gotta use that for the combo. Papal Imperative, Shockmaster, Dudolka, Three Lagia. Last minute, I added in a Violon to Sigma, it really helped me out in some situations. Utopia and Utopia Ray. Um, I would probably put a Gem Knight Pearl back in the extra deck if I could. Um, side. I cited three Gemini Imps, which sucked because I didn't play a single Dark World all day. Uh, double Effect Veiler. Double Dimensional Fissure. Double Nobleman. The third MST. Double Gozen Match. Double Decree. And third Compulse. And that's it for the deck part of the video. So, um, yeah, that's it for the entire monster video. So, uh, rate, comment, subscribe, guys, and peace.